Hi guys, welcome back. I have one more question related to asset accounting. Uh, just go through the question once. The finance team of one manufacturing company, they are facing the issue related to depreciation calculation. They have configured everything like they, uh, mainly they are using the written down value method or which you can say diminishing balance method. Uh, they have configured everything like your multi-level method they have configured, base method they have configured, so everything they have configured, but in the end, they are not finding that the asset value, the net book value is not zero. That is the main concern. So assume that this question was asked in the interview as one of your scenarios. So what would be your answer? So first you have to analyze what are the areas here it is going to impact these questions, right? So when I understood this question or when I analyze this question my, as per my analysis, that management thinks that as per the method, whatever they have applied that is related to um, your WDB method, that the depreciation should be, or the asset value should be zero. Because as they are going to, assume that the asset, of, I'm going to show you the example here also. So uh, assume that the asset, life of the asset is five years. So after calculating the depreciation for the five years, it's supposed to be zero, but actually it is not zero, right? It's not nullifying the entries. So what could be the reason, what the, they have configured, whether they have configured the depreciation, anything wrong, or what is the reason here? So if anyone is new to this part, let me quickly give the intro related to the depreciation methods. So as you know that we have a couple of depreciation methods are there, and uh, one is your base method. So basically at the time of configuration of base method, you are going to define what type of depreciation it is, whether it is ordinary depreciation, whether it is special depreciation, whether you are going for uh, using the straight line method or WD method. In this example, they have used the WD method. So all these things you are going to define in your base method. So you may configure your own base method or SAP delivered base methods are available. So you can check this particular clip where you, like different type of base methods are available. So as per your need, you can use any of the base method. Check this first example. So here I have taken the base method and I have configured the base method as SLM method. And uh, assume that we are going to purchase one machine, that is machine cost is 40,000, and in its installation cost is 1,000, so total cost is 41,000. So as we know that if any installation cost or addition cost will be there, so that we are going to capitalize. So 41,000 is depreciation, uh, sorry, 41,000 is your total asset cost. And uh, after five years, the anticipated scrap value, sell wise value will be 1000. So for this depreciation calculation point of view, what will be the formula? The formula is the purchase cost. We have to find out the APC cost. The purchase cost plus the installation cost, then minus the sell wise value and divided by number of years. So in this case, it is 40,000 and the life of the asset is 5,000. And uh, the yearly depreciation is very simple, 40,000 divided by five. And accordingly, the depreciation will be per year 8,000. And as you know that, as per the straight line method, every year the depreciation will remain same. So that is why you can see the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, the asset value is, I mean depreciation value is 8,000. And in end, after five years, the asset value is zero. Now in our current example, current business scenario, SLM method is not applicable. As I said, they are using the WD method. So this is their problem. They are using the WD method or you can say, uh, this one is more scientific and normally companies are using WD method and income tax is also approving this WD method. So mostly you will find the use of WD method is uh, uh, practically if you'll see uses is more. But what the management thinking that as they are calculating the WD method, why the depreciation is or the end of the value of asset is not zero like my this example, right? So this point you have to understand very carefully. Now coming to, to the WD method. So this method is, as I said, it is going to apply on net book value. In this case, we are going to calculate on purchase value on the basis of your APC cost. So in this case, the depreciation uh, value for calculation is 40,000. So every year when we are going to calculate the depreciation, always it will be 40,000 divided by five means per year depreciation is 8,000. So every year the depreciation um, amount is fixed. Whereas if we'll go for written down value method, so in this case, depreciation will be calculated on a constant rate. Okay, for example, we are going to calculate the depreciation at the rate of 10%. So every year, the depreciation will be the 10%. Again, I'm taking a very simple example, then uh, once I will go to the w, uh, your multi-level method, you will find a different approach there. 
So if it is base method they are using and it is WW method, again same example I have taken here. So depreciation asset value for depreciation calculation, it is 40,000 and the number of life of the asset is same five years. Here the rate of depreciation is 10%. So as per this 10% depreciation calculation, what will be your depreciation value year wise? So first year depreciation will be 8,000. So there is no difference. Uh, sorry, my mistake. It will be uh, 4,000 because 10% is our depreciation rate. So 4,000 depreciation. Next year, we are going to calculate the depreciation on NBV, net book value. So first year, closing value of the asset is 36,000. So second year depreciation will be calculated on 36,000. So this is our net book value, right? So 36,000, the net book value for the first year, second year. So 10% again, 3600 it is calculated. Then next year, depreci uh, your depreciation uh, net book value is 32,400, so depreciation will be calculated 10, at the rate of 10%, 3240. Uh, like this, five year depreciation we have calculated. Now, understand here, after five year, I can see that asset value is not going to zero. Like in this case, up to, at the end of five year, the asset value still it is there, that is 23,620, still it is there. Whereas when I'm going for straight line method, after five year asset value is zero. Here it is not zero and that is the main concern of the management why it is not uh, zero. So it will not be zero. So it is a tricky question for you in interview they, uh, this question was asked. So it was a tricky question so it will never be zero in your net book value because in this method your net book value will never zero. I will show you this one in the SAP Assets Explorer also, right? It will not be zero. Then uh, one more depreciation method we have that is your multi-level method right so whatever the base method you are going to configure accordingly you are going to configure the base method so three things you have to configure one will be base method one will be your multi-level method and third will be the depreciation key accordingly depreciation will be calculated so multi-level method when it is applicable so as the name it suggests that it is a flexibilities are there multi-level methods we are going to follow let's say initial two years some depreciation rate will be there after that, we are going to change the depreciation rate or initial some periods, some different rate will be there. After that, we are going to change. So after uh, two years, the rate is going to be reduced or a different way we are going to use. And uh, this one is practically, if you'll see, uh, like more complex one and uh, in different type of business, they are using multi-level. So in this case, uh, business is getting the validity that they have the flexibility to choose a, for a particular validity period, the depreciation will be with a higher rate. They can charge the depreciation with a high amount. After that, they can reduce this one. So practically, you will find use of WD method with your uh, multi-level methods, but base, on the basis of base method only, you are going to calculate your multi-level method. So whether you are multi-level on the basis of multi-level method when you are going to configure, whether it is on the basis of your number of years or on the basis of your percentage, all these configurations are based on your base method only, right? So I already explained the concept. Now let's understand this one in the system so that you will get more clarity. So particularly we will highlight this example, but for your comparison purpose, I have also included this one. So now I'm going, I have to go to uh, Asset Explorer, so which is AW01N. Here you have to take the asset number for you already. I have created one asset number and uh, I posted the transaction. Now, multiple depreciation areas I have applied here as I'm working on parallel accounting with different ledgers. So you can see the asset value is 2700. If I am going to select here the depreciation, just have a look into the uh, depreciation key what I am using here or the multi-level methods, just have a look into this. So I'm using here the multi-level method and uh, this is a straight line method current as per the current depreciation area, depreciation area one. So I'm using here the uh, SLM method and useful life. That means the life uh, total five years accordingly we are going to calculate the depreciation. If we are going to follow this method where I have uh, created, uh, this is my depreciation key Y001 and uh, the life of the asset I have taken here uh, 10. It is not exactly the Excel example. It's a different one, but same concept. So uh, life of the asset is 10 years and uh, the capitalization date is uh, depreciation started. I have taken here 29 September. Now, if I will check my uh, comparison value here, you can see this is proportionate this year proportionate value uh, depreciation then next year onwards the amount is fixed 
so, right and you can see the end of after end of depreciation uh, i'm sorry after end of end of 10 years so 24 to 34 uh, after end of 10 years the depreciation or asset value is zero so asset cost is 2700 and we are going to calculate depreciation also 2700 so that means after end of 10th year or the life of the asset it is going to be zero so asset cost will be zero right so every year you can see constant value the depreciation we are going to calculate constant value because as per slm this one is exactly the same example what i have explained in excel so after Five, fifth year the asset value is zero in this example i have taken life of the asset is 10 so after 10 year or after 10th year the life of the asset is zero because whatever my asset cost same we have calculated as depreciation but if we will go for wdb method in that case check this depreciation area now in this case you can see asset value is not zero so nbv if we'll, if we'll see here still some values are available so that is the problem you can say or the tricky questions whatever you can say so basically when we are going to calculate the depreciation in that case the net book value we are going to calculate the depreciation last time when we are calculating the depreciation we are using base base value right so apc value we are calculating the depreciation in this case depreciation we are calculating on the basis of net book value just have a look into these details Right, so here we are going to calculate the base value 24 as you know that it will be calculated on the basis of net book values on the basis of a percentage so that's why I've selected here x split percentage right so the percentage is here 10 percent and accordingly we are going to calculate it is not exactly like here I have not applied uh, different uh, I created multi-level method but it is only one parameters I have selected here you can see that is uh, I am going to acquisition uh, year that is on the basis of uh, uh, like this rule is applicable for all years it is not specific to year and also I have not maintained the period and year so that means we are going to calculate 10% on the asset value to to understand it is easily I did this but in real case or in business point of view implementation point of view as per the need we are going to configure so this is a multi-level method but I have maintained a very simple multi-level method right so now if we'll check that depreciation we are calculating every year and initially you will find that the depreciation is constantly to keep on reducing right so initially you will find a higher value of depreciation then gradually it's keep on reducing because we are calculating the depreciation on net book value and your net book value is also constantly keep reducing so that is why the uh, in in this case after 10th year also you will find the asset is not zero so back to the question so it is a uh, it is absolutely uh, there is no issue so this question is just to create problem for you or to uh, it is a, cr a cross question or tricky question it was introduced or it was asked to the participants so there is no absolutely it's fine so because as per the end book, net book value method or written down value method the depreciation asset value will not never be zero right but in this case if you are they are going to use straight line method so in that straight line method it is going to be zero like in this example so if you have any better scenario, please mail me. I will create one video so that it is going to help you as well as the others also. See you soon. Thank you.